1080 Ti, basically announced at Game Developers Conference. Ryan posted his review early this morning, and in fact, there's a uh, GTX 1080 Ti live stream going on with NVIDIA's Tom Peterson right now, which will be available for streaming later on should you want to get in-depth with Ryan and Mr. Peterson. Um, and they're also going to be talking about the FCAT VR testing tool that uh, Ryan introduced to you last week. Have you uh, have you uh, had a chance to remotely see the performance of the 1080 Ti? I know you're not in Kentucky at the PC per headquarters. Yeah, I looked at the benchmarks, and it's it's funny what happens when you take a Titan X and you increase the base and boost clocks. This is the same GP one hundred two core, <laughs> right? And they, but for some reason, I've been trying to wrap my mind around this. One of the memory controllers is disabled. So you have 11 gigabytes of memory. <laughs> this, we heard that and it's like, that's not right. Like these rumors, you know, they come out weeks in advance and like 11 gigabytes. Sure. But it is 11 gigabytes. They, they up the memory speed though. Like they're clocking it at 11 uh, gigahertz. So it's all about 11 with this card and a very odd 300, 352 bit memory interface, but yeah. plenty of bandwidth, uh, the same number of CUDA cores as the Titan X. And uh, as you might imagine, higher clocks equal higher performance. And it's less expensive. That's what's kind of amazing to but me because you look at the, the specs for the $1,200 GTX uh, or excuse me, the the NVIDIA Titan X versus the the GTX 1080 Ti, and it's you know the base clock on the 1080 Ti is higher, the boost clock is higher. It's got the same number of texture units, it, you know, eight fewer ROP units, one gigabyte less memory, uh, a slightly faster memory clock, or 10% faster memory clock. That 352-bit memory interface, uh, which saves them from I guess from not using G5X memory, um, you know, a touch faster in memory bandwidth, a same 250 watt TDP, uh, peak computing at 10.6 teraflops to the uh, Titan X is 10.1 teraflops, and it costs $700 to the Titan X is $1,200. Um, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for the like absolute fastest single GPU card right now, and it's kind of crazy that they're only selling it for six ninety nine. I say only six ninety nine. Of course, it's still expensive, and you can do a lot with less money. But it's it's kind of their flagship right now, it would seem. And it's at least they've come down a little bit. It's more like a realistic number. We were thinking like right. eight hundred dollars probably. So it's a little surprising. Of course, you can't you can't buy it anywhere. But I'll be. Surprised if you can get the Founders Edition Day One for six ninety nine. We'll see. 